This was part of the phase three Netter one study. Patients were um, provided with quality of life questionnaires to perform on a, a Q12 week basis. It was both the general cancer uh, EORTC uh, uh, 30 um, uh, questionnaire survey as well as a specific gastrointestinal neuroendocrine tumor uh, questionnaire consisting of 21 questions and pertaining to neuroendocrine specific symptoms. Uh, this is a preliminary analysis. We focused on um, global health, quality of life, which is obviously an important quality of life endpoint in uh, any cancer. It basically asks, uh, you know, how patients will rate their quality of life and um, um, uh, on a seven-point scale. Uh, we also looked at other net-specific symptoms such as uh, diarrhea, flushing, and also at pain. And what we found with respect to the global health quality of life is that actually, uh, on average, um, more patients on the lutetium arm of the study uh, had improvement in their quality of life and compared to high-dose octreotide, fewer patients had decline in their quality of life. And this was statistically significant at certain time points um, uh, during the study. Um, similarly with diarrhea, more, more patients on the investigational arm experienced improvement of quality of life. On average, fewer experienced worsening. Uh, to some extent that was seen with pain, although it was not statistically significant. And with respect to flushing, which is often seen in mid-gut neuroendocrine tumors, uh, there was similar improvement in, uh, in quality of life in both arms of the study. So overall, it's, it's very encouraging. I mean, usually when, when we look at a new agent and quality of life, we, we hope that the quality of life is not um, diminished as a result of introduction of a new agent. Here it seems that the quality of life is actually improved. So, you know, that's, that's, that's very encouraging. We're, we're going to be doing more analysis of time to deterioration of quality of life. Hopefully we can present that at future meetings. Um, but certainly it's a very encouraging preliminary look.